Hello guys, in this video, I am introducing you to Autocoder. Autocoder is the first large language model to surpass GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-4O in pass at one on the Human Eval Benchmark test. If you don't know what Human Eval Benchmark is, it is a framework for evaluating the ability of AI models to generate natural language that is both coherent and humane. So what this model does is, it creates a coding phenomena or process which is closer to how human generate the code. Its responses are coherent, very respectful, it also shows a lot of empathy, its factuality is simply amazing and it also facilitates inclusivity. And when it is applied to the coding, it just takes it to another level. That Plus, this model also offers a more versatile code interpreter compared to GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-4O. Its code interpreter can install external packages instead of limi li limiting to built-in packages. Autocoder's training data is a multi-turn dialogue dataset created by a system combining agent interaction and external code execution verification, which is a method they call it. AIEV instruct or it, it is short for instruction tuning with agent interaction and execution verified and you can read more detail in the GitHub repo or the model card which I will drop the uh, link in the video description. I will be installing it locally and then we will also play around with it. Now this AIEV instruct which is a method it reduces dependency on proprietary large models and provides execution validated code data set and this is the beauty of it so if you are heavily using code interpreter from OpenAI which is of course a paid option now you have an open source option with code interpreter which can even um, facilitate your external packages instead of limiting to built-in ones if you look at the benchmarking that is simply amazing look at this on the left hand side we have uh, in this blue autocoder and also it comes in two flavors 6.7 billion and 33 billion the 33 billion one on this human eval benchmark has beaten gpt4 turbo the latest one which has been trained until 2024 and also GPT-40, which has been trained and uh, which, which is just released in May 2024. And the difference is not huge, but beating GPT-40 and GPT-4 Turbo, the latest one, is not a small feat. Also, you see that uh, it has even beaten the previous versions of GPT-4, uh, then Anthropics, Claude 3 Opus, Code Quen, Deep Seek coder and then wizard coder open code interpreter all of the models uh, which have been quite famous in the wild for code interpretation coding it has beaten all of them plus if you are if you want to learn more about the models which are mentioned on this horizontal axis i have already done a lot of videos on them if you look at this diagram this gives you a bit more insight around overall architecture of the instruct method which i was talking about so it is divided into two stages at the very high level the teaching stage and the self-learning stage in the teaching stage the model learns primarily by distilling knowledge from a teacher model and in the self-learning stage it learns autonomously in the teaching stage they have obtained open source code snippets and used gpt4 turbo as a teacher model to supplement and correct them and the Process then consists of four steps like initialization, proposing the question, and then it goes on and on for execution feedback and then termination. And all of it you can read in the paper. I'm not going to go into the detail because I now want to show you how you can get it installed locally and then we will go from there. Before I show you, I wanted to introduce you to the sponsor of the VM and the GPU which I am going to use for this video. So both the GPU and the VM which I will be using shortly and I will show you have been sponsored by our friends at Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on a very discounted cheaper price with high quality then I would highly suggest them. I will drop the link to their website plus a discounted coupon in video description where you will 
uh, get a 50% discount on renting the GPUs from them. Okay, now having said that, let me take you to that VM. This is a VM where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 plus I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 which has around 48 GPU of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Another thing I would highly recommend you to have Conda if you don't have it installed. Okay, so I would need to source Conda. Let me quickly do that. And this is how you source Conda. All I'm doing it, I'm just calling the shell script from Conda in my profile. Press enter and now if you do the Conda info, it is going to show you the Conda which I have installed 24.1.2. I already have done a video where I go into detail as how to install it. So please search the channel if you don't know. Okay, now let me create the Conda environment. And I'm just calling it autocoder. So let's wait for it to get installed. Just press Y here and enter. And it is going to create our virtual environment, which will keep everything nice, simple and separate. Let's step into that Conda environment by activating it. And you can see in parenthesis it is activated let's clear the screen next step let's also git clone the repo of this autocoder and you can get the url from the model card which i will drop the link in video's description that is almost done let's cd to that autocoder and now here i would suggest you to install all the prerequisites which are primarily in the requirements.txt file so let me quickly do that and it is going to install all the requirements which are needed to run this model. So let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. All the requirements are done. Let me clear the screen. And then we are going to launch our Python interpreter so that we could download the model. That is done. Let me import some of the libraries which we have downloaded. So I have imported the transformers, PyTorch. Let's also import this warnings and also let's define this clear lambda function which is going to help us in clearing the screen so that it won't look cluttered there you go so we have cleared the screen now let's specify our model which is autocoder 6.7 billion i'm going to use for this purpose let's also get the tokenizer for this model tokenizer is done let's also get the model itself and the model is being downloaded now as you can see there are three tensors i think each tensor is, is around 5 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded and i have already set the device map to auto so because i have gpu it is going to map this model to my gpu card so let's wait for it to finish so the model is loaded and it is also present in our um, gpu now it is saying that some parameters are on the meta device because they were offloaded to the CPU. So you can ignore this warning for now. And now let's specify our input prompt. Let me also clear the screen to clear the clutter here. So we have specified our input. Let me specify it again. Now, once that's done, let's also specify our template, which is a prompt template that is required by this model. And now let's send the input to the tokenizer so that it will convert this message into the tokens which are recognized by the model and tokens are simply words or sentences that is done and now let's specify our um, output which will be generated by the model with the help of these hyperparameters which includes max new token that shows how many how much the output will be and then we are just returning one sequence which uh, specifies a uh, number of sequence of the sentences we want it to return we are not asking it to do any sampling and then we are specifying top p which just manages the top probability just uh, returns top p from a cumulated output and then we have also set the end of sequence token just to finish off the uh, output generation so let me run it the model is generating the output you can ignore this warning for now let's wait for it to come back and there you go you see the response which i have printed it is saying that you can use the built-in reverse function or the slicing method 
this minus one to reverse the list in python so very concise very compact spot on answer by the model and now here is another example of the code interpreter you said with it you see my question was could you help me to download a data set name this from hugging face please use your code interpreter to run your code and tell me what is the first data entry of this blah blah because i don't have internet connectivity uh, per se from this because i haven't uh, configured any uh, chrome or dr co so that is why it cannot go from this code but you can easily do that so if you look at the answer it has given me the step like to download this data set we need to import it from data sets module in hugging face and remember this is not a built-in one but still uh, this model is able to exactly pinpoint what it needs to do that it needs to download it from transformers library then access its data and print out the first record of the data set so it knows what it needs to do so if we properly format our code we'll be able to do that so as this video has already prolonged a bit in the next video i'm going to uh, show you how you can deal with its code interpreter in gui likely so let's wait for it but for this video i just wanted to introduce you to this model get it installed locally do some inference so very very impressed by this model i think one of the good model in terms of coding which i have come across in quite some time as i mentioned earlier i am going to put the link to its model card in video description they also have a very nicely written paper with it if you are interested which you can check out if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching